Good morning. So today, uh, carrying on with uh, Snippet Pixie next, like the rewrite um, in Go. Um, so let's find out where we were last time. In the middle of writing a getter and a setter as such. Okay, to do, my little to do for myself, um, get the snippet. Okay, let's see, uh, where were we? Let's remind ourselves. Okay, so this is our snippet package. We're in the middle of some edits. Uh, we've got a snippet type. Um, we are setting up um, a manager as well, which holds uh, the config effectively for the manager. Uh, we're sitting and we've got a new schema version of 160. Um, and so when we create a new manager, we are being passed in a database. Uh, check it exists and works. Uh, set the current schema to zero. Then we're going to have to do some like quick uh, checks to see whether the database has a schema and so on. Actually get the current schema, but haven't got that yet. We're doing it bit by bit. Um, so we're doing a quick test here. We're going to create a table for the settings um, and store. It's quite early on, isn't it, actually? Hmm. And yeah, might move that out later, but anyway, doesn't matter for the moment. Um, and then uh, create table uh, for the snippets that to actually be stored. That's fine. Timestamp body. Uh, why are they lowercase? They should be uppercase. Classic SQL. Uh, okay, and then we've got a timestamp for the last use time. That's good. Okay, um, and then it returns a new structure, which just basically has the database in it, which is fine. Okay. And now for creating a snippet, pass in an instance of that manager, uh, generate a new UID, start a transaction, insert it, ID brief, so that means the last use gets normal. Um, here we're just doing a straight commit. Um, Yes, that should be a rollback in there. Yeah. The alternative is to not even do the transactions in here and wrap it. But. And that puts a, the caller then needs to manage the transaction. That's not a good idea. Okay, we're going to do single bits here. Um, and then, yeah, so I might need to roll back in there. We'll, come, we'll see if the tests leave rubbish all over the place. Um, otherwise, it's going to return a snippet with all the bits in it. And now we're at the get snippet by abbreviation. A bit long-winded, but... It is what it is. So we're passing an abbreviation string. Now we need to go do the query. Um, do we want to do any database stuff up front? No, I don't think we do. I think we'll be okay. Because the new manager should deal with all that. Oh, 
Okay. Get this snippet. So we are going to be doing uh, a SQL query. So in theory, we just want the one. So I guess we can do I'm going to check the docs actually. I wonder if there's a quick and easy way of um, where's the database stuff? I just want to get um, just really want to just scan straight into a, into a variable. Let's have a look. What have we got? We have query and query context. Query. Okay, so they're doing a temp table, inserting. <laughs> oh dear. That's a convoluted example. Okay, um, so okay, this query example is using rows, and then it's going to go through them. scan into them. See all the examples. Okay. So that's doing low that's doing rows again. I wonder I just thought there was a quick and easy way of doing it. Okay, yeah. But that's straight into those variables. I think that'll do. Okay. Let's go, uh, no rows. Okay, so that's a special case we can deal with. Okay. Um, So 
Is that query row? It was query row, wasn't it? Yeah, but they're using context. That's fine. What are we going to do here? We're going to do... Um, Yep, select there. Yeah. We're going to select ID abbreviation body last used. Um, snippets where abbreviation equals dollar one. Now, were they using? Oh, they're using question marks there. I might come on and start with the dollar ones, so I might have to switch that out in a minute. But if I can, I'd prefer to do that. Um, and I need some variables now. This is where I might get a little bit unstuck. My last used. Um, which I've got as an N64. See how that goes. So we're going to stick these into the results of the ID abbreviation body and last used into the address of ID abbreviation body and last used. That last used is going to cause me issues though, I think. So, if uh, it's not equal to nil, Um, if, uh, 
equals SQL. Uh, now it's found. Then we're going to return. Now, otherwise, it's an error. Yeah. Then we're going to whack everything into here. Oh. Best passing an abbreviation. Easier to read. And here we've got the body and then last used. Don't think I'm going to get a, um, a good value back there, but we'll see. The tests all there. Uh, Tell me what we've got. Okay, so that's the basics. Very, very, very simple. I think it's going to go bang uh, in a couple of places. Potentially, dollar one might need to be a question mark. I'm not sure on the syntax there. Uh, if that's database specific, then just need to find out what the SQLite version is. Um, and then I think we're going to have issues up here as well when we're running the tests um, because it's going to be creating from scratch each time. But we'll see. Okay. I'm sure there's all kinds of errors really, but We'll get through them, test by test. Okay, so test manager create snippet. So this is the first test we're going to do. Create a database in memory. Um, if there's no error, fine. Set up a defer for closing. Create a new manager with that database. Then we're going to create a snippet with those two, the abbreviation and body. And then we're just going to make sure that we get back the same. Which should be okay. I'm just returning it on time. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if SQLite does a with return. Come back to that some other time. Uh, so no error. Any problems, we're going to uh, return the error. I'm guessing that's not going to have... Yeah, okay. Um, and then in the get snippet, do the same thing, set up, then we create a snippet again, uh, just make sure we don't get an error. So 
So we've got a brand new database. And we're going to get the snippet by abbreviation with the same one and hope that we get back a UR an ID the same as what we generated, which we don't have. Do we? Yes, we do. And then, yeah, abbreviation body last year. So I can't see any issues with that, but uh, we'll see. Okay, let's give it a quick one. Okay. Well, the create snippet passed. That's good. Right, there we go. So I, I expected an issue here with the last used. Converting null to in 64 is unsupported. Interesting. Hmm. I don't particularly want it to be a null. It would be nice to feel as a zero, but no. Hmm. might mean I should use a rose can't do a direct scan because then I can at least say well if it's not nil then use it otherwise It just stays as is. Okay, that would be safer. Okay, so let's do that then. Did it have oh, it's a rose example. Same thing, really. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. What am I going to do? I only really want one. Do I want to? Hmm. 
No, I only ever want to return one on this particular function. I'm going to do another function later, which is a matcher. So it's going to be like find all the um, all the abbreviations, sorry, snippets that match the abbreviation. I want to do that anyway. No, we'll do this. Okay, so let's go back to It's going to do the same thing though, isn't it? Okay, before I change this, I'm going to have to do something. I have to need to do a little check. Is there such a thing? There's no extra stuff I can do there, is there? No. Can I use a, is there such a thing as a nullable? Okay. 
Well, there's a cheap way around it for the time being. No, but if I do that, then I'm setting a timestamp, which is... Which is not good. Oh, one thing I need here... But if I, I could also do not null here, but I don't know what that's going to end up doing. Let's have a find out, I guess. See what that does. Okay. Can I then? Said foot. Yeah, cool. Interesting. And it knows it's fully recognizing time dot time there. Maybe that's what I should be doing. I should actually use just time dot time here anyway, because that's what I want. I only used in sixty four because I thought that would be more compatible. Okay. That's interesting. So That's weird. So why is a null? Well, actually, that could be the. I could then maybe stick this back to null because we don't really want it specified at first. Maybe that'll get the same result. Nope. Hmm. 
Hmm. I am going to look at what I did in my old go monitor. Um, in the server. What was I doing there? I was using N64. I was using defaults there. And this is probably not going to work. I don't think I've got that anymore. Hmm. Okay, definitely goals I need to look at. Oh, 
okay. Let's skip it. Actually, no, I didn't. Mm, okay. Okay, in that case, what I'll do is not now, but I will. Ensure I create it to here. Good point. What did I do? Um, here. I would have got that from. Hmm. It's passing around in 64 seconds. Let's do that, but I'll just pass in zero. Let's see what happens then. So that's a zero last used. So it's explicitly set in it. Okay. 
and timestamp, not now. Explicitly set in it. Return in it to. Let's say we know exactly what we've got. And then here, get in last used. That might be messy just with that, but we'll just see what we get, I think. see. A pass. Smart. Okay. So they create a snippet. That's good, isn't it? So now we've got a test. I guess that's job done then for that. Um, I think I'm good with switching that to a time. It's going to cause a bit of a migration. Or is it? Probably not actually. The current database is using timestamp but it's not using not now that could be an issue We'll just have to do a migration for that. Setting anything um, that's not null. To a default timestamp. Yeah, I think that would make sense. Okay, um, so we have something I think I can actually commit because it's passing. Um, it's not what we're going to end up with because there's lots to do in here. Um, but we're getting there. So let's do that. So this will add get snippet by 
deviation function to snippet package. Hmm. Okay, yep. That's fine. I think we're good. Uh, how am I doing? Oh, yeah, I probably should uh, pack up. Yeah, I think I'm good there. I think that's a good point to get going. I do need to do a bunch of extra tests here. Um, we need to do some failure cases here where we're passing in duff data and so on. Um, and then, of course, in the snippet, we need to be able to handle that. Uh, we need to do something here. Um, well, I suppose the get snippets kind of OK. Here's the manager I bring up that's going to have lots of changes. Um, but we'll get there. Um, so, okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, until next time, take care.